Hey everyone, welcome to Pipeline Heroes. I'm Sarah Floor and I'm a qualified success architect. It's so good to be here today with Nolan Mikowski, who is a marketing manager at FreshBooks. We're so excited to hear a little bit about their success since switching over to qualified last year. Before we dive in, Nolan, for those that don't get the chance to work with you on a weekly basis, tell us a little bit about how you came to FreshBooks, the company, and your role on the team. Yeah, thanks, Sarah. So excited to be here, be here with you at the Pipeline Summit. Uh, so I'm the marketing manager of demand generation over at FreshBooks. I reside in Toronto, Ontario. Uh, before this, I lived in Indianapolis, Indiana, uh, so I'm newbie to Canada. And uh, before I was here, I worked for the Indiana Department of Health, where I worked on a mobile app called Live, which was a fun app that we had for new mothers, new families. Um, and helping them with their pregnancies, with parenthood. I uh, had some really cool education materials in there. Um, and so naturally, you know, I made the switch from women's health to accounting software. So FreshBooks is an accounting software company uh, formed in 2003 by Mike McDermott, um, who had a pain of his own, and he ended up to make a company to help business owners like himself. Um, and so within the team, I am the marketing manager of demand generation. So in short, my role is to find the most quality leads that we can to give them the most personalized and really just best experience that they can. Um, and then equipping our sales team with the tools that they need so that those website visitors become customers and at the end advocates of FreshBooks. Amazing. So it's been awesome seeing your success with um, Qualified since we started partnering together. But tell us a little bit about the website before implementing Qualified. What were some of those pain points that you were experiencing, both as a marketer overall and just with some of the past tools that you were using? Yeah. So, you know, what we really struggled with was the, you know, the speed to lead that gets talked about a lot and really had the issue of our website. We were very reliant on forms when it came to visitors to our site. Um, you know, you'd fill in your information. You know, we'd say, we'll get back to you in 24 hours. Um, you know, hopefully our tech stack works well with the sales team and maybe you'll hear from us. Um, you know, it was a really broken experience. And so what we've really tried to work on since then and with Qualified is really create messaging that matters. And based off of qualification segmenting things that I'm sure we're going to go over, um, you know, we've really just tried to make sure we do create that messaging that matters. You know, sometimes... Sometimes you need to hear a joke. Sometimes you need to just get right to it and know and hear exactly what you need or read exactly what you need. Uh, you know, when a really good example of that is I tell the story all the time um, by Donald Miller, who wrote the book, Building a Story Brand. And he talked about imagine your customer is like a hitchhiker and you pull over to give him a ride. And the one thing that he just wants to know is where are you going? Can I get a ride? And as he approaches, I just go and I talk to him and I talk to him about my mission statement. I talked about how my car was made by my grandfather in 1960. And I tell him, I promise this can be the best ride of your life. Hitchhiker probably is going to take that ride. Instead, really just creating messaging of just being that guide and make sure that visitor is always the hero of the story, the hero of the messaging. And that's really what we're trying to do at FreshBooks. And is that pain point in that work that we're doing on a daily basis? Awesome. Yeah, that's definitely a great, great perspective to keep in mind. Let's talk about your audience. So you have pretty high um, number of sessions month over month. Who is your target audience? And what is your approach to segmenting those audiences? Um, especially when you're dealing with these large session numbers and these different channels. Yeah, so that's probably the, the biggest thing that we talk about daily. Um, is when you do have all these visitors, how do you decide who does just want to hear that joke or someone who does just want to know exactly how much do I have to pay? Here's my credit card. Um, and so, you know, overall FreshBooks, like I said, we are targeted for business owners um, and accountants all across the world. Uh, you know, we break them ba down based off the amount of time they give to their business, whether they're a part-time, maybe it's a side gig business. Maybe I'm starting my business just now and it's just me as a freelancer. Or maybe I am a scaling business owner and I'm up to 25 employees and I'm looking to expand. Um, so using, you know, going off of those, then, you know, it's from there. How do we do exactly what I talked about before? 
And how are we able to give them the most personalized journey, not off of that, but then also other information that they may give us. So, you know, with Qualify, we're able to, we're talking about how many visits they've given, where they came from, what their full digital experience has been, and really just creating segments off of that. Um, Because as much as we like to think that the random web visitor to our site, we know exactly what they need. That's someone who needs a direct buy offer. That's someone that needs a trial offer. This person needs sales. We really don't. Um, So instead, using the demographic data, using any information to their type of business that we may have, equipped with what they are telling us themselves with how they interact, merging all of that together to create the best experience that we can. Um, And, you know, really how we do this by giving them as many options as we can. Again, we're the guide. We're not the hero. So we want to give you all those options and then let the visitor choose their own path for how they want to engage with our brand. Awesome. So let's dig into a little bit about how you got started with Qualified. What were your initial impressions? Um, What was going through your mind when you first started learning about the software? So it's funny, um, you know, what really sold me on Qualified um, was Qualified. So I always say as we started using Qualified that the experience that I had as the potential buyer is exactly what I want to create for our visitors to FreshBooks, where I was, you know, not the happiest with our past tool and I knew that we were looking for something new. No budget had been approved for anything. It was purely just discovery. Um, and so, you know, within five minutes of being to a qualified site, I was having a conversation with a live sales rep. We were having a video call. I was able to connect with another qualified employee who had worked with businesses similar to ours before. And we had already set up a follow-up meeting with some of my coworkers. So qualified kind of hooked me from the start because exactly how I felt of it took five minutes to get every answer that I needed, at least to this point, is exactly how I want small business owners to feel with FreshBooks. So from there, you know, what has really sold us on qualified is that I was personal touch that brings, uh, but then also the technology advancements that qualified has brought, especially the integrations. We're a company that's very reliant on Salesforce and using Salesforce within our different instances. And so the abilities that we have with qualified to have those two systems talk to each other, integrate with each other has been huge. Um, and has really even helped us with, you know, some of the different experiences that we've been able to build from all of that. Awesome. So talk to us a little bit about what are some of those top initiatives um, and your keys to success thus far with qualified? Yeah. So, you know, it's, it's been the, that experience building has really been what we've been up to, right? Uh, so, you know, we've really done a good job in creating experiences that are as engaging as possible and are really doing a good job into making sure that they're, you said, having as much fun as we can sometimes and other times, you know, going off, um, you know, just getting straight to the point. And a really good example of how we're able to do that is through our Google Ads integration. Um, you know, so from before where we wouldn't really know off of a web visitor entirely again, their intentions, where they came from, <clears throat> what they're interested in. With our Google Ads integration, we're able to know if somebody came to our website because they clicked on an ad called small business in- invoicing. And maybe now that visitor is on our pricing page. So we've done so many tests on it and we've had so many different experiences with it where now when we see that someone came from there, they're on the pricing page, like I said, our sales rep has so much information already to talk about. So that it's not just, hey, welcome to our pricing page. Can I help you today? Instead, it's, hey, did you know that with FreshBooks, you can do A, B, and C with invoicing? And with this plan, here's all that you can accomplish for your business. We're able to have such better conversations um, and have such better engagement with potential visitors that a year ago, I couldn't even imagine we could have done for the visitors to our site. Awesome. So the last piece of this puzzle is all of the data that you're starting to collect. So how do you think about the data and the insights and then really sharing that with the rest of the organization? Yeah, so it's really go off the different levels of information our audiences want. Um, You know, it became clear pretty quickly uh, that we made a good choice with qualified and, um, you know, 
definitely helped some sleepless nights at first of all this investment we made into this tool. How are we going to do? Um, and so we're able to show, you know, the fact we're able to show the leaders of our business, here is the ROI that we have on it. And here's a way through really using Salesforce with dashboards that we have set up. Here's how you can see that in an easily digestible way without going into the weeds. But then what we're able to do for those that do want to go into the weeds, you know, obviously the two of us and then different project stakeholders is that's where we really use Qualify itself. And we use email digest a lot. So when we have an experience that we set up for a specific landing page, let's say, and there's a project owner that really owned that landing page and the strategy behind that, we've been setting up email digest for them so that they can see exactly with what they did. They know what are the conversations then that the people on those pages are having, how many leads are created, what is the full ROI. Uh, so one benefit that we've really found is the ability to get as granular as possible and then also be as general as impossible for some of those more high level exact kind of conversations. Great. So this is the last question, but what is the team at FreshBooks the most excited about in the year to come? So I'm probably not the first one to mention this for anyone here that has heard about it, uh, but qualified GPT, I couldn't be more excited about. As we know, AI is, it's the topic of conversation for marketers everywhere. And Qualified surely has not missed a beat in being a part of that. You know, specifically, I'm really excited for the ability for Qualified to auto pounce on visitors uh, where someone may have not clicked on chat with us and our rep may not have identified that visitor yet, but Qualified says, no, this is someone that we need to talk to. And the ability to auto personalize our website, the ability to auto summarize meetings that we have in Qualified. You know, using AI to create this tool is going to save so much time. It's And at the end of the day, it's going to do exactly what we talked about all day long, which is personalize the experience for that journey. I mean, and really get to what I talked about at the beginning of at the end goal, I want Sarah, the web visitor, to come to FreshBooks and see exactly what she wants and have the best experience possible. And you know, I firmly believe that with Qualified and FreshBooks together, we're able to do that for everyone that comes and interacts with us. Amazing. Well, I am equally as excited to work on that and other initiatives with you in this year to come. So Nolan, it's been so great getting the chance to tell FreshBooks Pipeline Cloud story. We love working with you and the rest of the team at FreshBooks, and we're so excited to see what the rest of 2023 brings. Thanks so much, everybody, for joining us, and we'll see you at the next Pipeline Summit.